I have to come up to the stage, you know what I'm saying? There's a, a poet who was very involved in the local making poetry scene, you know what I'm saying? I, um, he is involved in Groove Speak. You heard about that, that venue earlier, you know what I'm saying? And Queen Sheba's gonna be there on Monday, you feel me? Yep. All right, so um, without further ado, I'm gonna introduce my man, the next poet from a group called the Black Poets. I want you to give a warm welcome. I want you to get rowdy like you just seen R. Kelly, Jay-Z, or whoever. You know what I'm saying? Give a warm Jay-Z welcome for my man, my sky, y'all! My sky. Y'all doing all right? Cool, man. Oh, it's been a minute. I'm supposed to be on hiatus. I ain't supposed to be before. Supposed to be. It's all good. Man, I love the shadows, man. Man, I love the D Brown and uh, you know, Kamar and uh, everybody in the place to be. Vincent earlier, my boy Breeze. Uh, that's my dude, man. Two years. Put turn me on the slam poetry. Met some of the most phenomenal people. Um, all right, so let's do it. Let's give jump jump right into it. I'm a teacher, right? Any educators in the building? Yeah, I got one. Anybody yeah. else? Y'all shame? <laughs> I know Bill kind of going through some pains right now. Right. Y'all yeah, ain't got to be shame to be educators. You know what I'm saying? We on the front line. For real. We at war every day. Right. Now, I got military, ex-military, and y'all know. We, we, we on the front lines every day fighting. You know what I'm saying? So I take pride in my job, man. I love my job. I love my kids, man. It's hard, though. It's hard. So check it. We're going to do like this, man. I need a little crowd participation, all right? If you're in the place that you happy to be here, clap one time. If you're in the place that you happy to be here, clap two times. If you're tired of hearing this whack music on the radio, clap three times. If you're tired of our kids getting shot on the street, clap four times. If you're tired of artists getting up here asking you to support their artistry, clap one time. That's right. Repeat after me. Silence. Put your money where your mouth is. Put your money where your mouth is. Repeat after me. Put your money where your mouth is. Now this is the problem I have before I do this poem, because this is not the poem. I know everybody in this room, especially with the things that have been happening in the last month or two, with people just passing away, the kids passing away, people killing people. We, I'm tired of it. And I know some people in here tired of it too. But the problem I have is we kind of sit back, relax in our little comfort zones, and we don't really push things that are counteracting the, the negative things that are happening in our community, right? Things like this right here uh, are, are things that are going on in the community because the problem is our kids need something to do. Yeah, yeah. They need something positive to get into, right? But That's we gotta right. put money into those programs because when there ain't no money in those programs, there are no programs. When yeah. there are no programs, what are they gonna do? Watch TV, listen to the radio. They're selling them sex, selling them violence, right. selling them all that stuff, all right? Repeat after me, put your money where your mouth is. Put your money where your mouth is. Am I gonna ask you to buy a CD? Nope. Am I gonna ask you to buy a book? Nope. I'm gonna tell you about Groove Speak. I'm not selling tickets, I don't have tickets with me. But I'm letting you know what Groove Speak is. Groove Speak is a once a month event where we bring artists from around the country, like my man Breeze, like Queen Sheba. The first time we did it, we brought my man uh, Future the Poet from uh, Detroit. Second month, my homegirl uh, Kyla came up from Orlando. I mean, literally, people from around the entire country coming right here to Macon, Georgia to perform. And it's not just an event where you're gonna hear poetry, it's an event where Teens are gonna get up and perform because we also work with a teen group that we mentor called the Teen Black Initiative. They bring their friends, their parents, their family, uh, people of middle age, people of older age, people of uh, this religion, that religion, black, white, Asian, everybody. It's, it's such a beautiful conglomerate of our community and it gives us a reason to be there, a positive reason. Ain't no cussing, ain't no sex going on, ain't none of that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm letting y'all know what this is. This happens tomorrow night. 7.30 p.m., uh, I know Y.O. will be in the building, my boy Breeze, who just performed, he'll be in the building. Um, I'm telling you, Miss Love gonna be there performing. She tried to be quiet, but I called her out. But that's what we do. So I'm gonna stop, get off my soapbox. Thank y'all for letting me get on my soapbox real quick. I'm gonna do a piece. And this is dedicated to all of the beautiful women who are in the house. Um, we'll do it like this. And she believed that if she opened her legs, he would open his heart. 
And if she loved him with everything that she had, it would stop him from leaving. So loving him. It kept her from going, but it never stopped him from cheating, loving him. Never made her feel safe, secure, wanted, or needed, just afraid. Because no matter how much of herself she gave, not even loving him, who stopped her face from bleeding after loving him, almost stopped her from breathing, but he is her enemy. And she would much rather risk everything than to lose sight of this life and support system she finds in him, this fragmented vision of perhaps what being happy looks and feels like. They say love is blind. So she walks around with her eyes closed. And she only trusts in what she can see. And now only darkness and pain reside where her heart used to be. But I remember when she used to dream when her days were spent playing make-believe in the mornings. She would dance as if she were the world's most graceful ballerina. In the afternoon, she became the pink power ranger fighting to save the world. And at night, right before bed, she played house. She was the mother taking great care of her teddy bear children who would listen so attentively after reading them bedtime stories before tucking them in back when everything she ever wanted meant being everything she ever wanted to be before she was taught how to be a woman by watching music videos and BET before she learned about love and relationships from reading Zane books before her heart turned into stone impenetrable granite cold like this without a pulse and hardened to prevent it from ever being broken again there used to be so much joy in her laughter and when she smiled, the songs of her soul inspired broken winged birds to fly. But what she is now, there is no sky, there are no wings, there is no song because cage birds do not sing. There is no love, no hope, no make-believe, just pain and pain and heartache and pain, frustration and pain, hurt and pain, tears and pain. She walks around with her eyes closed and she imagines how things would be if for once he kept his promises. No more fighting, no more lying, no more cheating. For a moment, for one moment she believes. And then she says to him, I love you. And his reply, I know. Which is why you will never leave me. Showcase for Unsigned Talent is looking for aspiring artists of all kinds. This is your opportunity to show the people who matter that you've got what it takes. Visit a showcase for unsigned talent.com and submit a short sample of the talent you believe the world should see. Agents, artists, studios, and industry insiders are looking for fresh unsigned talent. This is your chance. This is your chance. Visit a showcase for unsigned talent.com now.